It's me. What was that? I, I've been watching my boy Biscuit. He talks about like how the frame data is looking and uh, how like he made this really good video called the consequences of floaty um, combat. And I pretty much I I get what he's saying, but what he's saying is definitely it applies to casual audience. I wouldn't say I'm I wouldn't say I'm casual, but I wouldn't say I'm like speedrun tech. I play on critical. That's that's how it goes. And what he's saying applies to me on critical mode, but I'm still gonna enjoy it, even if it's because like I still play through Kingdom Hearts One. Kingdom Hearts One's got really floaty combat. It's got a really zoomed in camera. You know, it's got some of the problems that he lists. And I still enjoy it to this day. Like, the combat is definitely not as good as Kingdom Hearts 2. I don't, I, like, I don't know if it's possible for them to get to Kingdom Hearts 2 level. Because Kingdom Hearts 2 is one of the best action RPGs of all time. Like, I don't know. I can't really think of others that are as good. But that just could be me, my uh, ignorance. But, like... The combat in Kingdom Hearts 2 is actually fantastic if you play on critical mode. So yeah, of course I'm nervous, but I did play Point 2, which is apparently like the quote unquote tech demo of Kingdom Hearts 3, and I played on it on critical. It was fine, you know, I had I had a good time. It definitely felt different, it took some getting used to, but I don't know. I'm not saying what he's, what he's saying is like he's making a big deal out of nothing, but it's specifically tailored more towards him and, and his playstyle and other people that speedrun and try to play on um, critical over and over again, try to perfect their craft. Yeah, you're not going to be able to perfect your craft, craft nearly as much as Kingdom Hearts 2. And I agree, like, I would like that too, but if, if we end up having more of the floaty combat, I'm still going to enjoy it, 100%. Like, there's no doubt in my mind that I'm going to at least enjoy Kingdom Hearts 3. Is it going to be my favorite in the series? Who knows? I don't know. I don't even know what my favorite in the series is. I have Kingdom Hearts 2 and Kingdom Hearts 1 as n number 1 and 2. I don't know which one's which. Because Kingdom Hearts 1's got better story, in my opinion. And it's a more cohesive story. The, the pacing's better. Kingdom Hearts 2 has a better combat. More fluid combat. More interesting like fights and stuff like that. So it's just different, you know? Also, we've done it. Thanks for not exploding, coughing. I think we could have took one, but you never know in this day and age. In this climate. This guy could still explode, but he's actually just gonna- Oh! I meant to- I meant to vine whip, my friend. Sorry. But at least we'll get up to 47 health, you know what I'm saying? It was all planned. Um... Yeah, let me know how you guys feel about Kingdom Hearts 3, if any of you guys are hyped about it. Like, me and my boy, Figs, like, even my brother, he's never played a Kingdom Hearts game, he pre-ordered Kingdom Hearts 3. We're hyped, dude. We are a Kingdom Hearts family, now. Anybody out there that's not hyped about Kingdom Hearts 3, well, you have every right to not be. But I'm just saying... Let's go dome this time. I always go helix. But I'm kind of feeling dome fossil this time. I'm not going to end up using either of them, but... Probably. Thank you. Thank you. Next. <laughs> oh, you guys... You guys listen to music? Yeah, I'm... I don't know. I can't... I can't express enough. I played through Kingdom Hearts point two a bunch. I didn't do the 100% stuff. I found a lot of it difficult. Like, a lot of the challenges, they were no joke. And I, I felt like you were kind of, um, limited in your options. Which makes sense. It was basically a demo. You paid $60 for demo, it came with other stuff, you know? You gotta get the whole collection. A punch of roaring ferocity packed with destructive power when the chips are down, Mega Punch is the ultimate attack. You agree, yes? Now, let me teach it to your Pokemon. Fine, which Pokemon will learn it? Who are we gonna teach? That's a nobody. You'll be back when you understand the worth of Mega Punch. A kick, Brute of Frost, packed with destructive power. When you get right down to it, Mega Kick is the ultimate attack. Don't you agree? Okay, I'll teach it to your Pokemon. 
Well, that was fun. You'll come crawling back when you realize the value of Mega Kick. Of Mega Crit? <laughs> Great developers. I really like their, their game. This is our first... I think this is our first, uh... Venture into this route. Which means we got a new, a new Pokemon, but first let's heal my boys. I don't need any accidents. You know, I am accident prone. Thank you, sir. We made it through the rest of the cave. You know, we, we maybe cheesed it a little bit with Jaffa. But you do, you do what you can, my dude. You do what you can. I'm not gonna purposely send out my Zubat to get freaking wrecked. Alright, let's go. What do we got? Alright, well, we already caught a Rattata, so we do not need to catch this boy. We can skip him. We, we have the option to if we wanted another Rattata, but I would not dare do that to our old Rattata, whose name I forgot. Excuse me, Rattata, you must, you must leave my presence. Out of my way. Okay, Sparrow. I can work with Sparrow. What are we gonna name Sparrow if we even catch, to say the least? Uh, let's hit him with that sleep powder. All right. Let's hit him with that sleep powder. All right. Oh my! If you crit me again, son, you are gonna have a bad time. What we got for Pokeballs? Alright, let's just start lobbing some balls. No! Just start lobbing balls! No, we need to... Sleep Powder. Thank the freaking lord. Because if that crit... If that peck crit again, we were donezo. We were actually... Donezo. Like Zoe Wheeler. Oh, you didn't know? You didn't know that, um, in Yu Gi Oh! There was. How? How? I'm actually scared. All our Pokemon are weak to Peck. Hold on. Hold on. You mother freaking piece of garbage! Do not peck me. Keep those peckers to yourself. Please, Lord, have mercy, Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. Oh, thank the f That was the most tense battle of our entire freaking playthrough. If Jaffa died, we were actually just... Holy moly. Alright, what are we gonna name you, son? Uh, who is the destroyer of worlds? We'll name him Thorn. I was thinking Thanos, but it's a female sparrow. Okay, hold on there. Hold! No. I'm a celebrity, let me out of here! Yeah, no point. I just want to get back to the Pokemon Center. Please, sir. Okay, we're, we're, we're safe. We're in clear. We're in the clear. Okay, so we have a... A fight coming up. Against a certain... Guri. What was- what did I name him? Did I name him Frick? Let's just say Frick. We have a fight against Frick coming up, and I don't know if our Pokemon are ready, so I might hit that Yeet. And before the next episode- hold on, let's- let's get some heals. Before the next episode, I will have our old Pokemon leveled up to whatever, uh, Frick's team is. No, I don't need that much.
Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I'll let me give you a kiss. So that'll do it for this episode. Um, we are now in Cerulean City. Ready to take on anyone. Well, not really ready, because you gotta level up our boys. Our boys are looking like the opposite of a snack. They're looking like... They're looking whack, alright? They need some... They need some TLC. Some tender love and care. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to my... Frick Hydra Ramples. That's Frick Hydra Rambles. Why did I say Ramples? Anyways, uh, expect more of this stuff soon. And expect uh, a big... A big hit of Mita. Right to your door. And also, expect some Kingdom Hearts stuff. In about 20 days. Uh, I can't wait. Uh... That's it.